and welcome back. So as promised right here that in the next video, I will show you how to multiply search. So here I'm going to do just that. So let's read the question. So it says expand and simplify. Now, one thing that I should mention here is that whenever the question says expand, that means getting rid of the brackets. And whenever the question says simplify, that means that you will collect all the like terms that can be further added or subtracted, and you're going to add them up or subtract whatever it is that that can be done. So what we have here is root three plus one, the whole thing square. So you can use the identity over here, which I hope you remember. And that is a plus b the whole thing squared, which is equal to a squared plus two a b plus b squared. Okay, now, the only difference is that in place of a, we have three under root two and in place of b, we have, uh, what do we have? We have one. So what this means is, is that three under root two squared plus two into three under root two into one plus one squared. Okay, now be careful when you're simplifying this. So when we're doing three under root two whole squared, so remember that the square, it's like it's like basically doing three x whole squared, okay? So the square is not only on three, but it's also on x, which is why the result turns out to be nine x squared. So just like that, if you're doing three under root two whole squared, that means you're gonna square three, which is nine, and you're also gonna square square root two. So square and square root just take care of each other, and that's just as good as two, which is why we have 18. Okay, just remember this, whenever you have root a, and you're squaring it, that means you just have a at left at the end. So what does this become? This becomes, as we saw, this becomes 18. Okay, that's what 3 under root 2 whole square is going to be, plus 2 into 3. This is what's going to get multiplied. So that's 6, and the root 2 will remain as it is, and plus 1 squared, which is 1. Now, this is something that can be further simplified. So remember, what we've done so far is just the expansion part. Now we got to do the simplifying part. So 18 plus 1 is 19. So 19 in 19 plus 600 root 2 is your final answer. And I will strongly encourage you guys that whenever you're presented with a question like this, use your calculator to check your answer. Okay, so now we have something that resembles a minus b, the whole thing square, which we know very well, should know very well, is basically equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So that means 1 squared minus 2 into 1 into under root 3 plus under root 3, the whole thing square. So what does this become? This becomes 1 minus two under root three plus root three squared as we know is three. So three and one can further be added and we get four minus two under root three. And there you go, fellas, that's your final answer. Okay, now, so two into five, uh, this is part C by the way, two into five is 10. And then two into two under root three is plus four under root three and minus three under root two into five is minus 15 under root two and minus, okay, so this is where you gotta be really careful. Remember apples with apples and oranges with oranges. So this, instead of multiplying it right away, I'll first write it down so that I can show you guys exactly what's going on. So three under root two multiplied by two under root three. Okay, now, so three gets multiplied by two, that gives us six, okay? And root two gets multiplied by under root three. So root two times root three is basically square root six, okay? And what do we have? Let's write down everything else from before. Uh, 4 under root 3, 10 plus. Okay, can we simplify this further? Certainly, we cannot. So that means this right here is our final answer. Okay, we can't simplify it further, so we're not going to bother. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Here's part D. Part D says 3 plus 4 under root 2 into 5 minus 3 under root 2. So let's get cracking. 3 into 5 is 15. And then 3 minus 3 under root 2 is minus 9 under root 2. Okay, four under root two times five, from five and four get multiplied, so that's 20 under root two. Okay, now here you gotta be careful, four under root two into three under root two. So four gets multiplied by three, so that's 12. Root two gets multiplied by root two, so that's two. Okay, what do we have now? We have 15 minus, we can further simplify this, minus nine plus 20 is going to be 11 under root two, okay, and 12, min, uh, 12 times two is 24, so that's minus 24. 15 minus 24, let's use a calculator. 15 minus 24 is minus nine. So minus nine plus 11 under root two is your final answer. Okay, now here's part E. So if you look at part E closely, it should, uh, it should resemble something, okay? Uh, and that is A plus B into A minus B. Okay, now if you were able to figure this out, you would have been also 
you would have also been able to figure out that we can do this by simply doing a square minus b square. Now, if you were unable to do this, that means you were going to do it the conventional way. And that is what we have been doing so far. Uh, this method, if I'm not wrong, is called the rainbow method. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's just that what we make here looks like a rainbow. That's why we call it rainbow. Okay. But yeah, let's just call it the conventional method. So let's say that uh, I ditched the conventional method and I used the identity. Okay, and I would strongly urge you guys to try and get used to the identity, especially when you have something like this, a plus b, a minus b, because it'll save you a lot of time. So a has basically been replaced by three under root two. So it's going to be three under root two whole squared and b has basically been replaced by one. So that's minus one squared. So what does this become? This becomes nine times two. Remember three squared is nine, root two squared is two minus one and nine times two is 18, 18 minus one is 17. Now I will encourage you guys to try this, okay? Uh, and again, you can check your answer using your calculator. I will give you the final answer. The final answer is one, okay? So expand this and see if that's what you end up with. Hopefully you'll end up with this. So yeah, that's it for this video. What we've learned here is we've learned how to multiply certs, basically expand and simplify. In the next video, let me give you a sneak peek. We'll learn how to rationalize search, which is also very important, perhaps the most important part of search. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.